But we did go see Sound of Freedom. It's pretty good. Mm. Overrated, underrated. It has good intentions, but <laughs> the quality as far as the dialogue between the actors, it's not very good. So you're saying production itself sucks? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it was a low budget film. Do I regret spending the money? No, I don't. It was. I I didn't walk out thinking, damn, like this was money that I that I regret spending. Whatever I sp-. no, I mean it was it was okay. I've seen worse, but it it just fascinates me how. Have you seen it, by the way? No. Okay. It it just fascinates me how it, everything becomes so political, right? Even the movie Barbie, I think, became political from the little stuff that I hear. And it's just like, why does everything have to fall under some type of some political ideology? Like, can it just be I mean, a movie? Sports is political now, dude. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You know and people are like, well, you know, it, bravo to them for using their platform. It's just like, yeah, but then you, you start diluting everything. And then you start censoring the the people with the opposing viewpoints, it doesn't get anywhere. You know, I mean, you asked me why don't I like sports anymore? Because it got politicized. It, it left a bad taste in my mouth, and I just never looked back. And, and that's a, it's unfortunate because just because you know a movie about the trafficking of kids, right? How is that political? Doesn't every shouldn't isn't, shouldn't that be something that everybody cares about? Like, should be, should be, right? I heard it was some kind of QAnon nonsense. What I heard from well, them. because they talk CNN. about they talk they talk about an island, right? But they never said anything about Epstein Island. They actually go into this island to rescue some kids, and that's when they arrest the traffickers. You're telling you're telling me it's a far you're telling me it's a QAnon conspiracy. So so I, I I say QAnon and you say Epstein Island, and I'm like, okay, where's where's the conspiracy at? Exactly, right? You're telling me it's unreasonable to assume that somebody with the financial capabilities buys an island and then makes an exclusive club where the who's who has memberships where they can have access to whatever their heart desires. You're, 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 you're saying that's, that's, that's crazy. And, and, and that's the, the conversation that I have with people these days. It's like, you guys have to remember that everything that we were told about COVID and when it came to like the, 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 the the whispers that were coming out initially about it coming out from a lab, they were telling us to shut the fuck up. That's conspiracy theories. And all these conspiracy all these conspiracy theories came out to be true. So if you don't sit here and at least listen to them, come on, man. Get with the program. Yeah, it's bad enough to censor speech that you don't like that's false. It's bad enough. I mean, that's bad. Even if you don't like the speech, and even though the speech is false, you shouldn't be trying. But to sit there and try to eliminate it when it's actually true and yeah that that that's that's pretty bad governing right there if you consider yourself a a free world like the united states says 